Will Russia and Belarus be admitted to the ISU Congress? Will we see our athletes at international competitions next season? And what about the age limit? These issues have been actively discussed in recent days. The first one was decided in our favor. Despite the proposal of the Ukrainian delegates, the necessary two-thirds of the votes were not collected. Inspired by this decision, many believed in the general softening of the agenda. But then came the 7th of June. The main thing by this hour, suspension of Russian and Belarusian athletes extended until further notice the Congress did not accept the proposal to increase the age limit for election to the post of officials of the organization, thus, the current vice president of the ISU, Alexander Lakernik, will be forced to leave his post. The Congress did not adopt an amendment to the charter that would allow the FFKKR to be temporarily suspended from membership in the organization 71 delegates voted for the adoption of the amendment with the required 77 votes. Also today, a decision will be made on the age limit, the vote will be held in the very near future. In theory, the wording of the suspension extension until further notice should be encouraging, if the geopolitical situation improves, the return of our skaters to the international arena is possible almost immediately, even if it happens the day before the start of the Grand Prix, the host countries of the stages can immediately issue a wild card. But this is just a theory. In fact, we understand that the Russian comeback will not be lightning fast, the first half of the season will definitely be internal. And, to be completely honest, the probability of Russians performing at the main starts of 2023 is also extremely small.